I've tested almost every single paddle available right now and I've compiled a list of the top five highest spinning paddles, period. This is not just guesswork or just another feel-based video where somebody might be trying to sell you something or has a website where they're selling paddles and want to push a specific brand on you. I'm just an ordinary dude who loves pickleball and wants to share the results that I found. So without further ado, let's dink straight into it. All right, so how did I measure these results? I actually have a high frame rate camera, which allows me to slow down my footage extremely slow. I hit and recorded 10 legal serves that have to land inside the court. Then I go frame by frame and count how many frames it takes for the pickleball to make one full revolution. I can then take that number along with the FPS I shot the video at and plug those numbers into a software that's made for converting this into an accurate RPM result. It's pretty freaking cool. I've done this with countless paddles so far. I've probably spent over, I don't, I don't want to think about it, a, a lot of money, honestly, just to have fun with experimenting with all this. And so why not share this with you so that you can make a better decision when choosing your next paddle? Okay, so let's jump into the numbers. In fifth place, we have the Carbon 3X 16 millimeter at 1986 RPM of spin. I chose the 16 millimeter version of all these paddles because I'm more of a control player and I like the plush feel of 16 millimeter paddles. In general, I would say if you're going for the highest spin possible, usually thinner paddles are going to spin more. Um, the 14 millimeter version of this paddle would likely spin a bit more, but it's going to be a bit more poppy and hard to control for the soft game. I like a solid happy blend, so I go for the 16 millimeter version of most paddles. The Carbon 3X has some really nice power behind it. It's a very firm paddle with a solid sweet spot and the weighting of this paddle at a swing weight of 119 makes it feel like it was made for drives and serves. It's not gonna be the quickest paddle at the kitchen for hand battles, but it's also not topping the charts in swing weight and feels pretty balanced overall. Even at the fifth spot on this list, if you're a Carbon lover, or if you have a Carbon 1X or a Carbon 2X, I think you'd really love the Carbon 3X. I have this paddle linked in the description down below and you can use code STS Pickleball to save 10% if you think this is the one for you. It feels like it has an enhanced sweet spot and I don't know if they've upgraded something but it does feel like it's spinning more than the other models. I guess it could be the shape and the new design but it feels really good. All right, next up on this list in fourth place, we have kind of a wild card. It's called the Baller Pro um, and it comes in at 2002 RPM in my testing. I'm always buying every paddle I can find and this one honestly just looked cool to me so I snagged one. I try and stay as open minded to any paddle having some cool new tech or a company going above and beyond and this one was one of those paddles for me. Um, the baller pro feels really soft and plush and to me really excels in the control game. It has this contour almost I want to say like braided style grip which feels really nice out of the box. Um, it's one of those paddles you don't need to put a tacky overgrip on, which is nice. It has a six inch handle, which is one of the longest handles I've ever seen in my testing. And it feels really nice if you're into two handed backhands or if you just don't like that claustrophobic feeling sometimes on those shorter grips. Also, it's the most budget friendly paddle on this list. Um, it's only $99 and you can use code STS Pickleball and save 10 bucks. Uh, you can snag one of these for like $89 right now, which is crazy. Um, and it definitely puts this paddle as the most spin for the buck on this list. I've really been enjoying this one. All right, at number three, we have the Rhombus R1.16 at 2050 RPM. Rhombus is one of the sort of up and coming companies in the paddle space. Uh, this paddle was actually the first paddle review I did on my channel. And I remember back when I was initially testing this paddle prior to doing paddle reviews, I was pretty blown away by the spin numbers. Uh, this paddle is really soft and plush and just excels really well in the control in the soft game, uh, just like the Baller Pro. Um, honestly, side by side, the Baller Pro and the R1.16 feel extremely similar. I think if I had to choose one, I would probably choose the Baller Pro just from like a feel standpoint. I feel like the Baller's sweet spot is a bit larger than the 1.16 and drives feel a little more aggressive to me off the Baller Pro's face. Um, but the R1.16 on average did beat out the Baller Pro as far as RPM goes. As far as discount codes go um, for the Rhombus, you can use the same code I used when I bought mine. It's uh, 20OFF, 20OFF, 
and that'll give you $20 off this paddle, taking it from $120 to $100. And again, I have everything linked uh, in the description down below, along with the uh, discount codes as well. So the top two spots are where things get pretty exciting. I remember not that long ago, it seemed like getting a spin number over 1600 RPM was like mind blowing. And now we're getting over 2100 RPM, which is just insane. Uh, the things that you can do with these new paddles are just super freaking fun. Uh, so coming in at number two, we have the Rhombus R3 Pulsar. This paddle is one of the most popular paddles right now uh, for us paddle heads. And what I mean by that is, you know, marketing wise, the Yola Perseus was the most hyped paddle release recently. And I tested that paddle among many other larger brand paddles and the Perseus only averaged 1796 RPM, which is extremely low in comparison to what, you know, the paddles on this list are averaging. Anyways, I could rant about marketing and these larger brand hyped paddles for hours, but let's get back to the point here. Um, I get asked about the R3 Pulsar constantly. I feel like every review I do, I have people in the comments asking me to compare it to the R3 Pulsar. This is one of the most plush thermofarm paddles available. If you like a slightly softer paddle that still packs enough punch to rip drives and put the ball decisively away, um, this might be the paddle for you. Again, for this one, you can use the same code I used uh, with the R1.16. Uh, so you can use 20 off 20 OFF. That'll give you $20 off this paddle, uh, taking it from $170 to $150. And again, I have everything linked in the description down below along with the discount codes. All right, the moment you've been waiting for. The number one highest spinning paddle I've ever tested is the recently released Valer Forza Mach 1, coming in at a whopping 2168 RPM. The spin on this thing is insanity. The original Mach 1 was actually one of my favorite paddles when it first came out. And then the thermoformed craze happened and it kind of got left in the dust. I was one of the first people to receive this new uh, Forza paddle. And I tested the RPM immediately and was shocked. Um, my first serve with this paddle was 2232 RPM. So remember the 2168 RPM this is ranked at is an average of 10 serves. So that first serve at 2232 RPM dipped so hard over the net, I thought my eyes were literally deceiving me. Uh, so I hit another serve and sure enough, over and over the Forza was just going nuts on spin. Um, I've aced more times with this paddle than with any other paddle, which always feels freaking awesome. And yeah, honestly, I just, I really, I, as you can tell, I, I freaking love this paddle. Um, also, uh, you can use code STS Pickleball at checkout. Um, so you save 10% off if you do that, um, which takes it from like $178 to $161, which is a uh, you know, super solid price. Um, and I th with it, I think you also get a, a paddle head cover, carbon eraser uh, to clean the face of your paddle. You also get like a replacement black grip, a replacement neck band, and a Valer sticker um, if you buy the Forza Mach 1. So, um, if you want to see my full review of the Forza Mach 1, you can click uh, here and, uh, and I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.